Imagine this, you just updated your website with a fancy new plugin and only to find out it broke half of your pages. Now your visitors are graded with error messages instead of your content. Frustrating, right? This is exactly why staging sites are a lifesaver. Staging sites like a practice field or a replica of your live website, a private space where you can test updates, troubleshoot issues, and experiment with new features without risking your live website. So without further ado, delay, let's get started and create our first staging site today. Now just take a look at the site and this is a pretty old website that has been created almost uh, six or five months ago or more than I'd say six months ago. Now I'd like to update uh, and see if there's any new update or new changes or new things. I'd like to test them on the staging site. Now I'm going to Navigate to the admin page to log in. So copy the username and paste here. And also copy the passwords and paste here. Now, as you can see, after logged in, I can see here there are two updates uh, for plugins and four updates in total. Now, if I navigate to the plugins directory, I can see there is a formidable and inspector plugin which is a recourse to update. And also if I navigate to the all updates here, you can see there is a themes, uh, a Spectra 1 and 2024. The themes we are using here on this project, which is Spectra 1. And this is also required for updates. And instead of updating here, I would like to create a staging site so that we can test and see if this update will cause any issue in our live website. If the update works on staging, that means it will gonna work on our live website. So we'll do later on our live website, but first we'd like to test on staging and that's why staging is very important. Now if I click on hover over the plugins and click add new and search here staging. And we are gonna install this plugin called W created by WP Staging and the plugin is itself called WP Staging WordPress Backup Plugin Migration Backup Restore. So click install now and activate. So the first step is done. In the second step, we are going to create our sites. Click on staging sites and click create staging site. Enter a name that will display um, after the primary URL, which will be the staging URL. It's optional, but you can add any kind of name. Let's say our temp site and click start cloning. There are some other information that you can uh, play around or take a look at here. The database table, files and other things, but you do not have to change anything else here. Just click start cloning. So based on your website uh, file sizes, it might take time, but here it's a lightweight theme. I'm using a limited number of plugins, so it will not gonna take so much time here. Uh, finally, it's done. So you can click over here. And this is our staging URL. So as you can see, this is our primary URL. And here is our staging URL, our temp site. So if we logged in here, we have to use the same password and same username here. And now this is our staging server. If I go to the dashboard and the admin bar looks completely different, but on the primary website, it's displaying a black color or the default color basically. Now this is our staging. And if I wanted to change or update anything, let's say let's update the plugins here. And we can test other things like applying code, applying changes, and uh, a lot of things that we can uh, practice here on apply new plugins to see if that plugin is uh, compatible with the environment that I'm using right now. And also to see if uh, there is any issues or if it breaks our site. So there are lots of test case scenarios that you can apply here. Now I'm going to update the themes as well. So 
So we have uh, completed our update. Let's visit the site. As you can see, the site looks perfect and it's working perfectly with our latest uh, version of Astra and uh, our Spectra. Now, if we want to apply any changes, let's say I would like to add something on the home page from pages and go to the home, click on edit. I just open a new tab here. And let's apply something here. Let's add a background color and click save changes. Now here you can see this is our staging site. It has a different background color on the hero area. Now if I go to the primary site, you can see it has a white background color. So that means if you change anything inside the staging, it will not going to apply into the primary. But there is an option to restore your changes or deploy the changes from staging to the primary domain and it requires their pro version. So if you navigate to the WP staging from your primary website and you can see here there is an option called action. You can delete the staging, you can reset the staging or you can push changes. So this requires the pro version. So the push changes will allow you to apply the changes that you have made inside the staging site to push into the primary websites. So I hope you understand why the staging sites are important or, or when it's required and how it works. Now I'm going to install the pro versions here and the pro version will cost here you can see the agency 41 per month and the developer 19. So the prices uh, might be different based on uh, different scenarios like locations or uh, events or discounts. So now I am going to install the pro version inside our uh, primary website so that I can easily restore our changes. So let's make some other changes here. Let's add a video here so that uh, you can identify the changes easily here. I'm going to add a video, a uh, YouTube video here. So I'm navigating to my channel. From here, I'd like to copy. So this one is created using the same projects that I am showing right now and creating the staging here. So copy the URL and paste here. So this is our staging server. We have added a video. We have changed the background color and this is how it looks like. Now just click save changes and take a look at our staging. So how it looks like our staging server. Now I'm going to push this changes to our primary sites and remove the staging server from our primary site as well. Now we have to install the pro versions. If you do not have the pro versions, you can simply uh, purchase the pro versions from the given link into the video descriptions. So click upload. And here is the pro versions I have already. Install now. Activate. Now here you can see if I navigate to the WP Staging Pro Staging Sites and we have the staging sites this one right. We have created this staging site. Now I'm gonna click on push changes from actions click push changes. It will gonna push all the changes that has been made into the staging server to our primary domain. Click push changes. And you can see there is some information and they clearly mentioned that your site transfer from this temporary or staging server to the primary domain. The domain looks different here uh, because of a development server, but you might be have like riyadmahmud.com for my domain. So you might have a different domain. That's completely fine. And click push 
uh, confirm push. You can also uh, create database backup as well. So just uh, use the default settings from here and click confirm push and click push. So here you can see the staging site pushed successfully. Now close this uh, window and visit our primary site. So as you can see, our primary site has been changed. Here's all displaying uh, the videos that I have added inside the staging server and also the hero area background color. And if I take a look at the plugins to verify, the plugins are updated now. If I take a look at the themes, the themes are also updated now. So that means it's working perfectly. And that's it. Creating a staging site is simpler than you might think. And the benefits are huge. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comments, and subscribe for more tips like this. Got questions or ideas for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from all of you. Thanks for watching and happy staging.